Well, hello and welcome to our coverage of the final day of the International Champions Cup, an event which has seen clubs invited here from right around the globe. This may have only been a short tournament, but it is one that has certainly left its mark here for all the right reasons. The games have been very largely watchable, more than decent, played in a very good spirit, and everybody who has taken part deserves great credit for bringing the game to a new market. Turnout has been fantastic throughout the event, and it is certainly the case here today as well. Let us hope that it all ends just as well. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. been quite an event and it's an event that should grow from strength to strength from now on well I think all the signs are pointing in the right direction Peter if the respective atmospheres are anything to go by we have to tip our hats to the organizers and the clubs that have made the commitment here's hoping we'll all get to return next year I've certainly enjoyed being part of such an enthusiastic tournament and uh, we still have plenty to look forward to here So off we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? I'll go for Douglas Costa. This fella really sparks in the opposition's final third. He's a bag of tricks dribbler uh, who can tie defenders in knots and a real entertainer, so I hope he can excite. Oh, quite no argument for me on that one. Now it's Dybala. Could move up a gear here. Douglas Costa, he's got away. Shoots! Goal! And some of the best managers I've played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Juventus give themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Pjanic. Well played, he saw that coming. And now the breakaway. In just the early goal here, and it's 1 0. Cristiano Ronaldo, this is promising. Out to the left it goes. Dybala gets flagged offside. it out to the wing Ramsey the scorer already in the game Alexandro tries to get it forward quickly Rosacchio aimed low and direct and he's made certain that won't get through Kessier chance to break He's thrown, he's thrown, and Dybala! Kessier plays it forward. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. 
Ronaldo with a really impressive run, which nearly went the whole way. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. Oh, it's hit the post! Tessier. Forward it goes. Donovan Schura. Over to the left. He's left his man. And the whistle goes for half-time. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Juventus are in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. They're just back from your break, we've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Conti. He's gone for a throw-in. out once more Cristiano Ronaldo no that is pretty much the end of that going through it's a loose ball Chalanolu has got himself a free kick Free has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Douglas Costa! Saved only by poor finishing. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. <laughs> well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. And it's Bonaventura. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Ronaldo going full steam ahead down the left flank. A good challenge, stood up well against his man. That's great defensive work, it doesn't take too much imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. He's got away. Suso delivers. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Milan are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And Tibola! What a rocket! That is special! Oh, that is a gem! And that should do it! Within sight of the finish line! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Milan have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able.
Juventus take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Kessie spreads it towards the left. He's left his man. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. Going through. Christian, the shot's on! Yes! And the lead is three! It is surely done! What about that, Jim Beglin? Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from the line city. the changes then in quick succession. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Juventus take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Breaks on here. There is the final whistle. Juventus, they have won the International Champions Cup. A fine win in this most prestigious friendly tournament, which has been going from strength to strength since it began several years ago. A genuine test against quality opposition from right around the world. And so to the ceremony. This has been a short but a wonderful tournament. It has served as a fine medium to bring football to new fans. The winners, fine ambassadors too, in the cause of the beautiful game.